So here is the hat and it's getting about as long as I need it to be that six or seven inches. So what I'm going to do as I'm knitting around, you can see my stitch marker up there at the top. So I'm ready to start with stitch one. I'm going to count in seven and that'll make more sense in just a second. But if your head is smaller than 21 inches, you may only want to cast on about 40 loops. Or if your head is bigger than 21 inches, you may want to end up casting on about 60 or 65 inches. we get the hat to about 6 or 7 inches, what we're going to take a look at how to cast on. Knitting every single loop is we're going to knit about just knitting seven of them first, and then we're going to knit two of them together. Pushing up some new stitches, keep moving that around. Okay. So now with these next two go through the first one and then I'm going to go through the second one so both of them are going to be on my left hand needle and you're basically knitting just the way you would normally except you're going through two loops instead of just one and then you push both of those loops off so one more time I'm going to count seven stitches I'm going to knit those like normal and then I'm going to combine the two that follow those. And you're going to do that all the way around. And when you get back to where your stitch marker is to mark off that you did a whole row, you're going to knit another row, but just normal. No combining of stitches, just one normal row. Move that up so I know right where it needs to be. So we just talked about the seven stitches, two together in one row, and the next row is normal. Here's the rest of that pattern. After the normal row, you're gonna do a row where you do six stitches and then one together, and then another normal row. Then we'll do a row that's five stitches next to together, one more normal row, and then the final row where things are gonna be getting kind of tight is four stitches, two together for an entire row, and then one more normal row. And then we will be ready to finish off this hat. Okay, when you're ready to finish up the hat, you've got your full length. Um, basically, what we're gonna do is run a thread through all of those final stitches and cinch it up. And the way that we are gonna do this is with our yarn needle. So go ahead and give yourself some extra yarn to work with, the same yarn coming from that ball that you've been working with the whole time. We're gonna cut, uh, cut it off. You're gonna take the end of that and spin it kind of tight and it should go through the eye of that yarn needle pretty easily without too much trouble. We're gonna pull it through so it won't slip out. And then basically what we're gonna do is as we slip these stitches off of the needle, we are going to slip them, slip this needle with the yarn right through. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull it all tight around and get all the stitches, or as many of them as I can, onto this one needle. And it'll be a tight curve at the end and that's okay. Okay, so as I move these stitches down and off of the needle, knitting needle, <laughs> I'm going to slip the yarn needle through them. I'll do a couple here and then I'll, I'll pull it so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, and then you're just going to pull it through. So the last stitches that you made, the yarn from that is going to circle, keep circling around to be able to pull the, the top of this hat tightly closed. So off of the knitting needle onto my yarn needle, pull 
those through. Kind of keep it cinched and tight. And once you've got them all, all pulled in, I'm just gonna put the needle through a couple more so it goes around a little more than one time. So you can see I've gone past that stitch marker. I can take that out, I'm done with that now. And I'm gonna poke the needle through so the yarn will be coming out of the inside of this hat. And I'm basically just going to pull it as tight as I can and we'll see that hat close up. Don't worry if there's a little bit of space because we're gonna deal with that in a second. So we pull it tight and I'm gonna pass the needle through some of the stitches that are in the inside of the hat, just a couple of them. Basically, I'm gonna be tying a knot off is what we're gonna do here. And then through that loop and then pull it tight. Okay. And like I said, don't worry if there's a little bit of a, of a gap there in the middle, that's okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the inside and we're kind of gonna make a seam there. So I'm gonna pull together and put my needle through and I'm just gonna do a real quick stitch to make sure that those are all sewn up. So all the heat can't escape from your head through the top of your hat. You wanna make sure that that hole is closed. Now there are a couple of spots where I had to move from one ball of yarn to the other. So there's a knot with some ends sticking out there. And I'm gonna tie a knot there and trim those up. And the other spot is right where you started knitting. There should be a little bit of your tail from the cast on left over. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tie a knot there as well. And then trim that off as well. And that should leave us with a fully functioning, very warm, wearable hat. So I hope you enjoyed your subscription box. Uh, if you enjoyed it enough to want another one in the month of December, go ahead and fill out the form that you got in your box. Bring it back to us, text it to us, and uh, we'll get you signed up for the box in December as well. So thanks for following along. Hope you guys are having happy holidays. Bye.